We bought this turning machine years and years ago off an old um, shipyard in Kent. They'd bought an automatic and they'd started to do it um, horizontally and uh, automatically. So their old paling machine was like, in, there was a tree growing up through the middle of it. Um, we rescued it, so we put it, pulled it all apart every little bit and, and greased it all and, and uh, cleaned it all up and got it going. Um, now we actually run it, we've had a few versions since and we've um, improved basically uh, the, the runners that it runs along um, and the actual machine. Um, but actually we find this old, but basically it's the same, same format, same, same version, it works the best. Sam makes a few rolls a day, splitting all the pails, uh, cleaning them up, nubbing them and putting them on the roll. And he's just starting another roll now. Can you talk us through the process or should Sam talk us through the process? Sam can talk you through, I reckon. Basically this is the setup. Uh, take your pull, leave mine is out, wrap them around there, and uh, pull them so they get tight. So they're all like, so this one will be like that, and there'll be another one here, the same at the top and the bottom. And then as you pull the contraption along, you twist, and that's how you get the twist between each pair. these compare cost-wise to a traditional picket? So pickets is cheaper. Yes, yeah, so your paling is your budget fed. But when you first put it up, it looks very mm. smart and it'll last a long, long time. I've seen them where clients had a, a traditional sort of chicken wire fence put up and then they're so over the top. Yes. And it looks really, really and charming. you can't see the wire behind, yeah. can you? No, I know. Well, it's very popular to put round uh, vegetable gardens. People like it because it uh, aesthetically. It's, yeah, it's not, it, not it helps it get a bit closer to the other ah, okay, one, and it's, yeah. it's tighter in this. I'm going to staple gun it anyway, but mm -hmm. like sometimes you can't really do it. But I try to. Very much. If you keep twisting it the same way, mm -hmm. this will get really tangled. So with one, you twist it one way, and then for the next, yeah, you twist it the, the other. other way. So presumably, if you're, if you're only doing two strand, yeah. you wouldn't actually need the central compartment. Uh, no, but I tend to leave it on because okay. I've got the, the next one. Doing be three, okay. So it makes it so much easier to just be able to pull the wires through straight away. Mm. And it's quite annoying to take off as well. <laughs> and the, the chain's quite long, so you need something extra to um, keep the whole thing going. Right. You get even one turn out of line, yeah. Uh, really messes up the back. You can fix it by just doing that turn again, but then you have to work out which way you turned it wrong. You know? And are you limited by the size of your paling machine, or can you wrap it up this end and continue? Uh, I'd have to cut it. Um, we only really do it at this length. You can obviously attach them on your own, but. Uh, yeah, the, the length of this is 30 meters, so you don't mm -hmm. need to 30 meters. 
we sell them in half rolls or full rolls. Mm -hmm. And a full uh, roll is 30 meters or 60 meters? A full roll is 30 okay. and half is 50. Mm -hmm. So, I think we have had people ask uh, whether they can just get a bit. And I've never done one like that, but I think we probably would do it. Mm -hmm. Including the splitting, the processing, does it take to make one of those? Processing and putting on a roll. Um, just what? Probably about two hours. I can do four in a day if it's normal mm -hmm. spacing. But if it's space, if the spacing closes, there's an extra like 30 palings in there. There's so many more palings in there. Like, it doesn't look it, but if you're doing like six, yeah. and there's like 20 more for each. And sometimes it's better with three rolls, because with two, they fall over like that. Yeah. But with three, it's got a lot more holding it together, so it falls over. Uh, like I like the combination height ones. Yeah, the staggered ones. They're, they're quite nice. cute. Yeah, they look good. Right? Can you talk us a little bit about just the the machine yeah. and how it works and that sort of thing? So you see how this works? See the twists for the twist in between each paling. Um, this is the clamp. So when it's like this, you, you can pull them through. And so do that. Can't pull them through anymore, which makes it tighter. So you can twist them along. And then these are what feed the wires through. So as you as you pull it along. Just twist like that, and then it slowly gets looser and looser and comes out. And that's pretty much it. 